Yeah. I can just give you a very quick example that I think illustrates that balance between fossils and storytelling, which is the, the sequence that we created based on the La Brea tar pits, which mm. really shows, you know, a mammoth dying in a tar pit, some predators coming along to feast on it, them getting stuck, and then further predators coming to attack them. This all literally is completely borne out by the fossil record, which sucks in over a period of months, you know, all the animals that fall there and then the animals that come and try and eat it. But the sort of the storytelling element, the storytelling element in that story is that did the mother and cubs escape or not? You know, that we don't have evidence whether there was one that escaped, but obviously some did, some didn't. And for the, for the storytelling point of view, we chose to have them escape. So that's kind of the blend, you know, but they're all possible, feasible and backed by science. And of course, Fantastic. that Labrea story is well known to everybody. The, the, the bigger Labrea story about how animals are caught in those tar pits. But by bringing it to life through experience of individual animals' lives, it's not only dramatic and memorable, but it's deep learning. You'll never forget that story. So you'll understand what was going yeah. on and how animals got caught and why some did and some didn't. And I think that is what you take away from this series. It's highly entertaining. It's gripping. It's exciting. It's beautiful. But it's also deep learning.